What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you guys missed the last episode, it's going to be in that top right hand corner as usual. Check that one out if you guys haven't already. Today we're going to be doing a war in the north. So sit back, relax, chill out for a bit. If you guys do enjoy this one, a like would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, hit that nobody bell so you don't miss any uploads and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at 808 Black Mamba. Let's get right into this episode. Battle climbed into the hills. Aid me, be my eyes. Put it on there. Hey, who's that? Everyone, all right. Help the wounded, and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Eivor Raven. Now there's a face I've seen before. Hey, what's up, buddy? We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Half Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Time to die. Guy likes to fight dirty. Golden take you all. Damn. God, I can't see. <laughs> Eat that, sucker. How about that, too? Take that too. Out of here. Oh my God, I, I. go up, damn you. Guys wanted to mess with us. Come on now. Yeah, there's only three of you guys alive. What the hell happened? Are you wounded? If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! For Thor! Let's go! You 
owe me your life, old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. Hmm. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. Better relax, so you buddy. You answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Gotcha, gotcha. Then to Donna Castor for a victory feast. The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? Impressive man, a man like the rest. It's what his men think that matters. Hmm. Heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to your Wigshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose. It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Oh, really? The sayings of half done. I'm gonna go all the way down there, buying. Oh, you. We crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter raids. Damn, they scrapping. Hey, what's up, buddy? The time to strike is when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. I've done Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the carls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishie's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felt them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Yarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. 
A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? Wine goblets of a Roman Neilus. Give me a horn of mead any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced smirking, glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. Roger. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. I'm just gonna follow him. Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. Is this the end? Might be the end right here. Come on, Brody. Nobody here. Come, let me show you a wonder. Oh, this dog. All this, we conquered this, he and I. Together! You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Eva the Boneless, Sigurd Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Voler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on.
You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up. <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. I got you, bro. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Farid fool you. He is hiding something. All right, guys, it's gonna be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy this one, a like would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace out.